Contamination in pharmaceutical manufacturing poses a significant threat to product quality, patient safety, and regulatory compliance. Even minor lapses in contamination control can lead to batch failures, costly recalls, or warning letters from regulatory authorities. Troubleshooting such issues requires a structured approach, a deep understanding of production processes, and a commitment to continuous improvement. Let us understand contamination in pharmaceuticals. Contamination is the unintended presence of an impurity or foreign substance in a drug product or manufacturing process. It can be broadly classified into four types. First is physical contamination. It includes the presence of foreign particles like glass, metal or plastic. Second is chemical contamination. It includes the introduction of unwanted chemicals, including residual cleaning agents or cross-contaminants from other drugs. Third is microbial contamination. It includes the presence of bacteria, fungi, or viruses, especially dangerous in sterile drug manufacturing. Fourth is cross-contamination. It includes the unintentional mixing of two or more products during manufacturing. These contaminants can compromise the safety and efficacy of the final product, making robust contamination control a non-negotiable aspect of pharmaceutical manufacturing. Troubleshooting begins with identifying potential contamination sources. Some of the most frequent causes include Personal-related issues These issues occur due to inadequate training, improper gowning, or poor hygiene practices. Equipment flaws Poorly designed or maintained equipment can harbor residues or microbes. HVAC system failures. Ineffective air handling systems can lead to the introduction of dust or microbes into clean areas. Material mix-ups. Incorrect handling or storage of raw materials can cause material mix-ups. Inadequate cleaning validation. Ineffective or non-validated cleaning procedures can leave residues behind. Investigation of contamination When contamination is detected, a systematic investigation must follow to identify the root cause and prevent recurrence. Here's a structured approach. Contain the issue. Immediately quarantine the affected batch and area to prevent further spread. Collect data. Review batch manufacturing records, cleaning logs, maintenance records, and environmental monitoring data. Conduct a visual inspection. Look for physical signs such as residues, leaks, or equipment malfunctions. Interview personnel. Talk to operators, cleaners, and maintenance staff to gather first-hand insights. Apply root cause analysis tools. Techniques like the five whys and fishbone diagrams help map out contributing factors logically. For example, if microbial contamination is detected in a sterile product, the investigation may trace it to an unsealed HEPA filter or improper sanitization during maintenance. Implementing corrective and preventive actions Once the root cause is identified, the next step is implementing corrective and preventive actions. Corrective actions are immediate steps like recleaning, equipment repair, or batch disposal. Preventive actions are long-term solutions such as updating standard operating procedures, retraining staff, revalidating cleaning procedures, or modifying facility design. It is essential that corrective and preventive actions are documented thoroughly, reviewed for effectiveness, and monitored over time to ensure sustained compliance. Preventing contamination in the future The best way to deal with contamination is to prevent it in the first place. Preventive strategies include Risk-based planning Identify high-risk areas and allocate resources accordingly Robust training programs Ensure all personnel are trained and retrained regularly on GMP, gowning, hygiene, and contamination risks Validated cleaning procedures Use scientifically proven cleaning methods tailored to your facility and products Environmental monitoring Continuous sampling and trending of microbial and particulate levels in critical areas. Regular audits. 
Internal and third-party audits help identify gaps before they become major issues. Contamination control is central to pharmaceutical quality assurance. A structured troubleshooting approach not only resolves the immediate issue but also strengthens the overall quality system. By fostering a culture of vigilance, continuous improvement, and compliance, pharmaceutical manufacturers can safeguard product quality and protect patient health. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get regular updates. Join channel membership to access exclusive content like courses and member-specific videos.